All right, so how has the transition to Florida State been so far for you? It's been great. These guys have been awesome getting down here and meeting all them, and um, they're very welcoming, and um, just getting through all the workouts with them. It was a real good summer. Why was Florida State a, a good fit for you? Uh, when I came down here on the visit, I was really impressed. Um, first of all, with just the guys and the talent on this field, it was pretty crazy. Um, getting down to the first thing I saw was the receivers. I'd never seen that much talent in a receiver core before. Um, and then everybody just seemed hungry at that whole practice. It was just kind of a different um, intensity than, than I've seen before. When did Florida State first get on your radar? And it's just, what was the process of, of you know, looking into it and then deciding to come down and then deciding to, to come here? Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of a quick process for me. I guess after I went into the portal, I kind of took a look at some different places. I had it laid out uh, to me with somebody um, that I'm pretty close with, and I kind of had a good feeling that I wanted to come here before um, I went on the visit. Is it a lot different than what you're used to, I'm sure, in terms of climate for one thing, but are there things that are, are taking adjusting to, or I guess what's in the mic for you? Yeah, um, it hasn't been too crazy to adjust to. The climate's definitely a little hotter, but I got used to that after the first couple of days. You sweat a little more in workouts, that kind of stuff, but um, it's great down here. I like it a lot. It was a good adjustment. What were your conversations with Coach Taggart like when you were visiting? Um, he was just a, uh, a great resource for me the whole time when I was coming through here and then when I got on the visit um, I spent a little more time with him and um, you know everything that I talked to him about and with coach Biles it seemed um, like a, a great place for me to be. How different are the offensive philosophies? Um, a little different this one uh, they like to spread it out a little bit and throw the ball more so I'm excited to do that. How do you think you fit within that philosophy? Um, I guess we'll see the more as we play and as we practice um, and it'll kind of develop but um, I know we got a lot of weapons out here at receiver um, and I'm excited to get them the ball. How did you mesh with those receivers during the summer? Um, it was good. They're a really hard-working group. Um, I've never seen uh, receivers that don't want to leave the field when you're running routes. They just kept going and going and going, and um, I'm excited to, to get on the practice field with them. What kind How of did you and James kind of hit off? I mean, you guys are competing for the same job, but you know, he's a pretty nice guy, obviously. Yeah, he's a great guy. Um, he's been great to me, and um, you can tell that this team really likes him and appreciates him, and he does a great job with leadership, and um, you can tell all the guys trust him. How much did Coach Bryles factor in, in in terms of you wanting to come down here? You mentioned him, but did you like what you saw from him, and, and just, I guess how much was that uh, part of your decision? Yeah, he's a great guy just to be around. He's real competitive, and um, he's got a fire in him, and I like that about him. Um, and then the offense that he runs and his philosophy, um, he wants to score a lot and score quickly. And um, just everything as far as the offense is really enticing to me as well. How much of an adjustment to not really having a written playbook like you've had before with Coach Browns? What's that been like? It's kind of fun. I got to write it up myself a little bit, but um, I kind of like the way they do it. you got to learn it yourself, and then you can put it together. But um, now I kind of have my written playbook. But, um, you know, it, it was a little different. I liked it. What are your goals of these early practices? Um, I think just the continuation of the things that I've learned. I feel like I've learned a lot over this summer, um, and I'm just excited to get out here on the field and, and start to do it. What about your goals for the season? You're only here for a year. I guess what do you want to accomplish in, in your one year? Mm -hmm. um, I want to help this team win. That's first and foremost. Um, that's why I came here, and that's what I want to do. What ways is James able to kind of help the uh, transition? I think it's been great because he's been here for a while. He knows these guys, um, and he's a great leader, so that's something that um, I could tell from the workouts and just being around him. So he's been a great, uh, a great guy to me. When, when you decided to come here, what were the conversations like with Coach Taggart with potential playing time, your role? Obviously, you're going to be in a competition here in the next couple of weeks. So what did you guys discuss with that? Um, it's pretty much what we're going through right now. We're going to have a QB competition right now. And, um, you know, he wants to win games. I want to win games. So we're ready to get this thing started. Let's go two more. Sorry if you are going to ask this, but what are the biggest adjustments that you have to make coming over from pro style offense? Um, there wasn't too much. Um, Football is football. Everything's a little bit different, so the splits are a little bit different. Um, but a lot of the concepts, you'll see them all um, kind of everywhere. Obviously, Coach Browse runs a little bit different um, type of scheme, but um, it wasn't too big of an adjustment. I'm excited for it.